I love the curiosity because we're asking uh, many caregivers at Providence to venture in to forest bathing as a dimension of leadership. Could you talk a little bit about what that is going to look like, how that might be a place that we could bring all of this, uh, this vulnerability, our sense of smell, and then nature together as a way we bring forward a new dimension of our leadership at Providence? Mm, yes. So forest therapy is a term that is defined by the founder, Amos Clifford, of the Association of Nature and Forest Therapy. However, it was also um, born a tradition by a Japanese cultural tradition of healthcare called Shinrin-yoku. And so as it traveled to the West and the way it was born into the West is that forest therapy is a relational practice that brings people into deeper intimacy with the natural places around them. Um, one of my beliefs is that our sense of place is part of our is part of our healer. It's one of our healers in our tool bag of healers is that our sense of place. Um, one of those natural places is also our own natural self. Uh, it's a practice that holds the possibility of meeting again the kernel of who we are and who we were born to be, and then how we intend to use that service in the world. So this opportunity for us in Providence to go out into the forest is an opportunity for us to meet ourselves. And it's an important part of the practice is to recognize that it is a practice. Um, it takes curiosity, engagement, and a commitment. Um, the reward of that though is that we develop a relationship with the therapist, which is in our training, the forest is the therapist. And by placing ourselves in that relationship, we have the opportunity to um, step into spontaneity. Uh, we have the opportunity to step into um, uh, all of our feelings and then to get to know those parts of ourselves because we're receiving also back just general benefits that are well documented. We're receiving the benefits of well being in terms of boosted immune system function, improved cardiovascular. Uh, lowered blood pressure, respiratory health, attention, reduction in stress and depression. Um, these are things that are already documented. The most important for me is that we feel like we're stepping into a place of restoration, of connection between each other, that sense of interdependence. And by observing that in the forest, I think that interdependence is then something that brings us back into what it would look like um, for us as we look at our own legacies or we look at the legacy of an organization. We are but individuals in this organization and so how we align our personal path is going to be a part of that that leaves those seats and DNA for those next generations. Each ring of leadership is going to be one that paves the path before it. And, um, and I'm really excited to see that Providence has really taken this approach. In, in true body, mind, and spirit. <laughs> That's right. And, and as you are giving us this image of the rings, and isn't it true that that does help us to know that we're building out from that core, from the root of the legacy of the sisters, of, of the force for good that generated that core, generated those roots, and we're on the outside. Uh, we're, we're trying to weather some of those storms, those headwinds, the rains, uh, which I'm wondering are going to be with us or not uh, when we're in the forest with you. But the fact is that uh, we're a part of that tree and it's such a deep image. And so thank you for giving us that. I think that really helps us to, to move into this sense experience to understand how we're part of the rings of, of our tree of life at Providence.